Mysteries. I'd been looking for a decent one for months. I could have just gone into journalism and followed the leads with the rest of the pack, but I'd rather do my own thing. Then I found the first article, page 8 of the Chronicle, Communications College Scandal. I had seen plenty of scandals in the paper, but this one was different. Its repeated mention of mass hysteria on campus and a sort of collective psychosis intrigued me. I'd have to do some digging, but this could be the story I've been waiting for. The mystery I can solve. With a bit of work and a couple cold calls, I managed to set up an interview with the man himself, Dr. Luke Stein. The former director of the Luke Stein Communications College was willing to meet at the site of the old campus. Apparently before directing there, he'd worked at a psychiatric hospital in an experimental ward. Once again, I found mentions of collective psychosis and a mental experiments involving both patients and staff. Then only half a mentioning of telekinesis. I tried to double check the sources, but ran into a dead end. Maybe the doctor can tell me more. Why don't you tell me what used to be here? Well, this is the old site of one of the greatest academies I've had the pleasure of working in. Which was? Why, the Luke Stein Communications College, of course. There was the main entrance. And over there, there were trees. Oh, lots of trees. Where's the college now? Well, it's gone now. <laughs> really asking back here? Thank you, thank you, please. Now, we all know why you're here, of course. You're here because you're the greatest, greatest minds of our generation. Precisely. And we've gathered you here to create some of the most complex technologies currently unknown to science. Now today we'll be discussing psychokinetic fields. Now who can tell me? Yes, Andrew. Uh, psychokinetic field is uh, an energy field produced by the human brain. Spot on, Andrew. But let's not forget the binding constraints of morality and the short-sightedness of modern psychiatric fields. Only you can save the minds of the future. Don't let your fields down. For the field is our power, and the field is our unity. Perfect. Now, continuing on. Do you think you made any breakthroughs during your time here? Absolutely. Every field in science and medicine could have been revolutionized had they let me keep my findings. I mean, we made contact. Physical and spiritual contact. Contact with what? With them. All of them. Everywhere. Who's them? The keepers, the ones who maintain the balance. I saw them. We all saw them. Is that what triggered the accident? No. That was carelessness. Now, Andrew, you have to release all your preconceived notions. Let the field envelop you. That's it, Andrew. You're getting there. Focus. Keep your mind on the core ideas. Your field is getting critical mass. Andrew? Andrew is no longer present. To whom am I speaking? The field is weak, William. I may pass through this body and take this wall for myself. Andrew is mine, Keeper. Now tell me the equation. I don't know what you're... You know what I'm talking about, Keeper. Now write it here and I'll release you. Bring in the next one! So you tested every student with this machine. What did you hope to achieve? Well, most of the information was meaningless. It was gibberish. They were clearly in control the whole time, but simply playing along. Well, from what I've seen, you seemed pretty convinced at the time. At a specialized school, we don't have the resources to turn away every imperfect student. We have to use what they know and hope they can reach a deeper understanding. 
it was an expansion of communication, or as you put it, an experimentation. These things take time and above all take money. They knew what they'd signed up for. What were some of the courses offered? Well, following GE requirements, we had courses in kinetics as well as communication of the mind. These would be crossed with physics classes as well as meditation. Is it true substances would be taken by students or faculty? Yes, there was a student-run pharmacy. With little faculty oversight, these things would happen. Our students were given unrivaled freedom. That's putting it lightly. Well, why do you think they demolished this place? Soon it's going to be office buildings and someone will make some hot app and they'll make millions. And that's bullshit. And that's putting it lightly. With our communication, you would need computers or electricity. Just two mine. And you can make that a reality. Inside those walls, it was a reality. It's the expansion that broke it. I wanted too many apprentices to learn and teach the next generation. But we grew too fast, and somebody asked too many questions. Or maybe just the right questions.